Whether you're in the backyard camping or even powering your entire home, it can be done with a small box that you can carry around with you and you won't even know when the power goes out. Essentially, it's a box with some outlets that you can plug stuff into even your entire home. It's that simple. This video will help you understand how much power you use, how many watts you need to power your lifestyle, and which solar power generators are right for you. This is the ultimate buyer's guide to available portable power stations and solar panels. Welcome to the Adventure Tech channel. We focus on cost-effective, high-quality solutions to a more comfortable and affordable lifestyle using the most advanced and current technologies available, including solar power, portable power generators, electric vehicles, and more. Technology is moving really quickly these days, so it's easy to be left behind. I'm gonna help make things easy for you. I'll do the research so you don't have to. But why should you trust me? Well, I spent over 10 years traveling around the United States as an industrial and environmental inspector using advanced technology like ultrasound and electromagnets to literally see through and inspect machinery. As an inspector, I've experienced with nearly every component you'll find in these places. I've spent time hundreds of feet high, hanging off of towers, taking thickness readings, crawling through eight inch wide manways into dryer cans that make paper, and even spent time inside tanks that hold the most dangerous chemicals known to man, requiring full oxygen even near the entrance to these tanks. Plus, I've driven days straight across the country and know all about what works and what doesn't on the road and in off-grid situations. Now I'm happy to share what I've learned and my experiences with you. So let's talk about your energy usage. How much energy do you need? Kilowatt hours is sort of like the gas in the tank of your car. The average home uses about 30 kilowatt hours per day in the US. Wattage is more like the gas pedal. Higher the watts, the more power per hour you're using. The average wattage a home runs at during a single day is about 1200 watts. Some items require a starting wattage surge of up to two times their running wattage for a few seconds just to get started. Sometimes they call this lifting power or peak starting surge. Another thing to know is that you're gonna want pure sine wave, which is gonna give you the ability to safely charge anything you got. Not only do you pay a lot for your power, but also you pay very extensive delivery fee to get that power to your home, which is often more than three times the cost of the power itself. If you don't use a lot of power, it's gonna hurt you even worse because there seems to be a large initial cost of delivering even a single 15 cent watt hour to your home. Power isn't that hard to produce, really, but getting it from the power plant to your house is very expensive and you foot the bill. Getting off grid eliminates this delivery expense while also avoiding power outages. And here's a fun fact for you. Up to 342 watts of solar power falls upon one square meter. Now that you know you use about 30 kilowatt hours per day at an average of 1200 watts, let's see what these solar power generators can give you. You're gonna find four main types of products. The power stations, which is the power storage with the outlets on it, the solar panels, which charge the power station from the sun, expansion batteries, which are kinda of like a power station but without any outlets on it. Also, there's some accessories like cables and rolling carts and stuff like that. Each brand offers combo packages, giving you discounts for buying multiple items. We're not gonna be looking at too many of these accessories or combos in this video. Okay, Blue Eddy, the first company we're looking at, this is one of the big ones and one of the biggest of the big ones. These guys are definitely a preferred choice. They make power stations and also solar panels. They're really efficient, eco-friendly devices. They use lithium iron phosphate batteries that can be used and recharged thousands of times, maintain 80% effectiveness. These are those solid state batteries people are talking about. These systems have overcharge, overvoltage, short circuit, overload, low temp, and over temp safety features. Also, it seems like all these power stations run sine waves, safe for all devices. You can use an app to monitor your power system. Very convenient. Blue Eddy are the standard for what is currently available, so let's see what they have to offer as of today. The AC180 is on sale right now for $800 and it was $1,000. It can hold about 1.1 kilowatt hours and outputs at about 1,800 watts with a peak of 2,700 watts, which will start up most items you use. It has 11 output ports, four ways to charge. It can charge to 80% in only 45 minutes. This is a medium-sized power station weighing about 35 pounds or 15 kilograms. Pretty easy to pick up with built-in handles. You can expand this station too using expansion batteries up to 4.2 kilowatt hours, which is about one seventh of your daily power usage. Not too bad. It has a five-year warranty plus 10 years of expected lifespan. This seems like they're not waterproof or dustproof, so be careful with this model. The AC60 is $650 and was $700. It's IP65 rated dustproof and water resistant, great for outdoors. This is smaller than the AC180 at about 0.4 kilowatt hour storage and a wattage output of 600 watts and a peak wattage of 1200 watts. 
has seven ports, including wireless charger plate. Charge it four different ways, fully charges in one hour. Only weighs 20 pounds. It's upgradable using expansion batteries up to two kilowatt hours with a warranty of six years. Next from Blue Eddy, the EB3A, it's only $209 and it was $300. It has 0.26 kilowatt hour storage with an output of 600 watts at 1200 watt peak surge. You can charge it four different ways or combine a couple ways for two different other ways to charge it. It has nine ports, including cell phone charging plate on top. It'll charge at 80% in 30 minutes. This doesn't seem to be expandable with expansion batteries. It weighs just over 10 pounds. Nice small unit. Maybe a little bit older though. It only has a two year warranty. The Blue Eddy EB55. Price is $400 with 0.53 kilowatt hour capacity and outputs at 700 watts with a peak of 1400 watts. It has 13 outputs and a cell phone charger pad on top. It weighs about 17 pounds. Next from Blue Eddy, the EB70S is a step up at $500 with 0.71 kilowatt capacity, an output of 800 watts peaking at 1000 watts, I believe. This seems to be another older model possibly. It has 12 ports and a charging pad on top. It weighs about 21 pounds. Now we're getting into the bigger power stations from Blue Eddy designed to power your whole home. These can be used as backup and hooked directly into your home power system that's connected to the grid. It can stay charged and immediately turn on when needed with what is referred to as UPS backup or uninterrupted power supply. You won't even know the power went out. The EP900 combo from Blue Eddy comes with minimum of two B500 batteries. With the two batteries, it's $10,300, but it comes with a storage of 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours, which is about one third your daily use with an output of 7,600 watts. You can run 120 or 240 volts. You get 10 years of warranty with this. You can hook it to the power grid and even get paid to produce power. It's IP65 water and dust resistant, and you can expand this up to 9,000 watts output in a storage of 20 kilowatt hours, which is two thirds of your daily use. An efficient home and lifestyle could easily be powered by this system. These are meant to hook to your home so they don't have features like outlets and plugs for plugging in devices. The AC500 comes with a minimum of one B300S expansion battery. The cost is starting at $4,800 and give you a storage of three kilowatt hours and output of 5,000 watts and a peak of 10,000 watts. Pretty impressive for the size. This unit has 16 outlets and ports. It looks like it has two charging pads on top, with a cell phone. You can use split phase when using two AC500s or two B300S expansion batteries. It has a four year warranty and you can expand this system up to 36.8 kilowatt hours, which is 12 B300Ss, seeding your daily use by quite a bit. The main AC500 unit is 66 pounds. This is a four year warranty. Next from Blue Eddy is the AC200 Max. AC200 Max costs $1,600 and gives you storage of two kilowatt hours and an output of 2,200 watts, peaking at 4,800 watts. You can expand the system to 8.1 kilowatts and about one quarter of your daily use right there. The AC200 Max weighs about 60 pounds. You get plenty of charging ports, plugins with this unit, and two cell phone charging pads on top. It has a four year warranty. Next, we're looking at the AC300 combo. It's a step up from the AC200 Max, costing $2,600 with a minimum of one expansion battery required to purchase the unit. I'm not sure if this means the main unit won't run without the expansion battery, but they're just not selling it by itself. This one is three kilowatt hours, spanable up to 24.5 kilowatt hours with 300 watt output and 600 watt surge. If you have two of these or two expansion batteries, you can run that split phase with this one. It has plenty of charging ports and outlets, including two charging pads on top. The weight of the main unit is 50 pounds and the expansion batteries are close to 80 pounds. This has a four year warranty. Then we got the EP500 and it's currently on clearance for a price of $4,000. It has a rolling cart design. It seems to be different than all their other models. It weighs about 170 pounds, has a storage capacity of 5.1 kilowatt hours and an output of 2000 watts. I'm not 100% sure on what this can handle for peak surge, but it might be 4,000 watts. It's being discontinued, so maybe it's an older model or just not as efficient as a new lineup. It has plenty of charging ports and outlets and it also has some cell phone charging pads on top. So those are all the units that Blue Eddy is currently offering as of today. There are two more power stations that haven't been released yet called the AC2A and AC70. 
They are smaller units and will likely be pretty cheap for what they offer. They seem to be able to charge much faster through solar. I'm going to keep an eye out as they release and check pricing and try to share it in the video description. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next company, Jackery. This is another more popular brand that will likely be around long enough to help you if there's any issues with your solar power station setups. They feature advanced temperature sensors to ensure safety, boasting a 12 layer safety net, including nine temperature sensors. 20 year lifespan on these and four years on standby, not too bad. Fully charged in two to three hours. These are all lithium ion batteries as well. They all have a variety of charging ports and outlets, but no charging pads for cell phones. The lifestyle of these batteries seem to be 1000 recharges up to 80% capacity. Another great thing about these solid state batteries is that they work at low and high temperatures pretty well, so they're pretty safe. The 3000 Pro is three kilowatt hours of an output of 3000 watt, 6000 watt peak. This is not upgradable with expansion batteries. The cost is $2,800 right now. It weighs about 64 pounds. The 2000 Pro is 2.1 kilowatt hour station with 2200 watt output and 44 peak. Price is currently $1,900 and weighs about 43 pounds. Again, this is not upgradable with expansion batteries. The 1500 Pro is 1.5 kilowatt power station with 1800 watt output and 3600 watt peak. Price is currently $1,700 and weighs about 38 pounds. Again, you cannot upgrade this with expansion batteries. The 1000 Pro is a 1 kilowatt power station with 1000 watt output and 2000 watt peak. The price is currently $1,100 and weighs about 22 pounds. This is not upgradable with expansion batteries. The 2000 Plus starts at $2,200, giving you storage of 2 kilowatt hours and an output of 3000 watts and 6000 peak. You can upgrade this system with up to 24 kilowatt hours, which is nearly your daily usage. The 1000 Plus starts at $1,200 and gives you a storage of 1.2 kilowatt hours and an output of 2000 watts, 4000 peak. You can upgrade this system with expansion batteries up to 5 kilowatt hours or about 1 6th your daily use. This station weighs about 32 pounds. All the rest of these models are not upgradable with expansion batteries. The 1500 is 1.5 kilowatt hours at $1,700, giving you 1800 watt, 3600 watt peak. It weighs about 35 pounds. The 1000 is 1 kilowatt hours for $1,000, giving you an output of 1000 watts and 2000 peak. It weighs about 22 pounds. The 500 is 0.5 kilowatts for $500, giving you an output of 500 watts and 1000 peak. It weighs about 13 pounds. The 300 plus is 0.28 kilowatt hours for $300, giving you an output of 300 watts and 600 watt peak. It weighs about eight pounds. The 240 is 0.24 kilowatt hours for $239, giving you an output of 200 watts and 400 peak. It weighs about 6.5 pounds. These are all the power stations available at this time from Jackery. They seem to be an okay company, but there is more limited quality when compared to Blue Eddy. Namely, Blue Eddy batteries will last four times as long. Okay, the next company we're going into is EcoFlow. EcoFlow has the Delta Series and River Series power stations. You can use an app to monitor the devices. The batteries are made from lithium ion phosphate and offer up to 10 years of use for over 3,000 cycles of charging, maintaining 80% capacity. Power systems have built-in battery management systems that regulate vitals such as voltage current, temperature, keeping these setups very safe for many years. These units also have extremely fast charging capabilities. Another unique feature is called X-Boost, which seems to let these units run at an extra 25% wattage continuously. So here's the Delta series. The Delta 2 Max is two kilowatt power station for $1,900 with optional upgrade to six kilowatt hours by adding up to two expansion batteries. You get 2400 watts and 4800 watt peak and these weigh about 50 pounds as you can see you get a lot of outlets on this unit and on different sides so you're not always fighting for room to plug things in the delta 2 is a step down at one kilowatt hour for one thousand dollars starting out with an optional upgrade with extra expansion battery for up to three kilowatt hours total wattage is 1800 watts with a peak topping out at 2700 watts Total weight is 27 pounds. The Delta Pro is 3.6 kilowatt hours for $3,000, upgradable up to 25 kilowatt hours, which is nearly your average daily use of 30 kilowatt hours. This weighs 100 pounds and gives you 3,600 watts and peaks at 7,200 watts. You get plenty of ports and outlets on this. This system can act as a home backup and can even be charged at EV stations. The Delta Max starts at $1,400 on sale from original price of $2,100. It seems there's a lot of deals on EcoFlow right now you could take advantage of. This power station gives you 2 kilowatt hours. It runs at 2,400 watts, peaking at 5,000 watts. EcoFlow is one of the best companies if having a lot of readily usable ports and outlets is a necessity for your use. 
you can upgrade the system up to 6 kilowatt hours. The original Delta is 1.2 kilowatt power station that costs $730 right now with an original price of $1,400. That's a huge discount. Maybe they're getting ready to roll out a new line of stations in the near future, or they're just feeling generous. Probably the first thing. Seems everything is marked down a lot. The Delta's 1800 watt output peaks at 3300. It weighs about 30 pounds of plenty of charging ports and outlets. The Delta Mini is the smallest in the Delta series at only $550 right now, marked down from a thousand. Gives you 0.8 kilowatt hours, 1400 watt output peaking at 2100 watts. This little power station weighs about 24 pounds and still has quite a few plugs on it for its size. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the River Series. The River 2 power station is 0.25 kilowatt hours with an output of 300 watts and 600 watt peak for the price of 239. Weighs less than 8 pounds. Like all EcoFlow power stations, you get an amazing long lifetime, fast charging, and safety features. The River 2 Max is 0.5 with an output of 500 watts with a peak surge of 1000 watts for a price of $470. This one weighs 13.4 pounds. The next size up is the River 2 Pro, 0.75 kilowatt hour storage, output of 800 watts, and it can peak at 1600 watts for a price of $600. This power station weighs about 17 pounds and offers a nice upgrade from the River Max 2 with additional outlets. The River Pro is pretty similar, 0.72 kilowatt storage for the price of 650. It outputs at 600 watts and peak surge of 1200. The River Pro also has an expansion battery available that doubles the capacity to 1.44 kilowatt hours, weighs about 17 pounds by itself. Those are all the power stations that EcoFlow has to offer at this time. EcoFlow also has some home backup setups for UPS and off-grid situations starting at $4,800 for 2 kilowatts of storage, upwards to 15 kilowatt systems for around 17 grand. Next we're going to be taking a look at Anchor. Anchor makes a range of products and everything I've encountered from them is top shelf. They seem to be building up a big part of their business dedicated to power stations and panels. Their power stations are trademarked Infini Power Technology, lithium iron phosphate batteries with up to 10 year lifespan, built in smart monitoring checks temps up to 100 times per second, and they have strong impact resistant shells. They include 5 year warranty and plenty of outlets and ports. Control them using the apps. I think these also have peak surge capabilities for wattage as well but I couldn't find that information. The largest battery from Anchor available right now is the Solex F2000. Currently available with built-in wheels and extendable handle. All the plugins and ports you'll need. The cost is $2,000 for two kilowatt storage, spinnable up to four kilowatt hour with an output of 2,400 watts. Next up is the Solex F1200. It's a step down with 1.2 kilowatt hours, 1,500 watt output, and the price is $1,100. Next, the Solex C1000. It's the next step down at $900, one kilowatt hour and 1800 watt output, making it a bit more powerful than the F1200, even though it costs less, but it is a bit smaller in size storage. The Powerhouse 555 is also one kilowatt hour, but only 1000 watt output for the price of $900. The Powerhouse 535 gives you about 0.5 kilowatt hours, 500 watt output. These smaller models are much lighter and portable, but they still have plenty of ports and outlets available. The price is $500 for this unit. The Powerhouse 521 is the smallest of the power stations at only $220 and 200 watts. They have some other really small power banks too that are pretty nice. I personally use them, but we're not going to get into that in this video. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the solar panels that Blue Eddy has. They have a total of four choices. They're grade A monocrystalline silicon solar cells, all offering 23.4 conversion rate. Optimum operating temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. They have built-in kickstands for portability. They're durable, splash-proof, IP65 rating. They have an ETFE coating for extended life. Easily plug them into your power station depending on max solar input of your device. I believe these are all standard MC4 connectors. Keep in mind that your solar panels may vary in output depending on conditions and placement. All these panels have one year warranty. The PV420 is the newest, it's 420 watts for the price of $850 on sale right now, normally $1,000, making it $1.97 per watt. In six hours of prime sunlight, this can produce up to two kilowatt hours. The Blue Eddy PV350 is 350 watts for $750, putting this setup at $2.14 per watt. These are portable, foldable, and really easy to carry. The Blue Eddy PV200 is 200 watts and it's $450 right now, putting it at about $2.50 per watt during ideal conditions. The last solar panel Blue Eddy has right now is the PV120, 120 watts, priced at $280, giving you about $2.35 per watt. 
These are all the solar panels Buetti currently has to offer. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next company, Jackery. These panels have kickstands and seem to have a nice rigid edge to help protect the structure. They're water and dust resistant, IP65 to 68 rating. They operate in very low temps, as low as 14 degrees and as high as 140 degrees Fahrenheit. They claim 24.3 to 25% conversion rate. They have three different Solar Saga series panels right now available. The 80 watt model seems to be sold out but costs $250 giving you about $3.11 per watt. They're dual sided so they do pick up light bouncing off earth from underneath the panels which I heard are really great for days when the sun isn't good and during the winter. They claim to have a 25% conversion rate. The 100 watt panels cost $300 putting you at $3 per watt. These aren't dual sided. The last model they have is the 200 watt model costing $700 with some promos that seem to be going on right now. You can get another $200 off. At $700 it would put you at $3.50 per watt. Jackery panels are more expensive than Blue Eddies per watt, but they do offer the 80 watt panels that are dual sided. Now let's take a look at the solar panels EcoFlow has available right now. They have both portable and mountable solar panels. For the portable panels, they have the folding 400 watt setup for $1,000, putting it at $2.50 per watt. The 400 watt panels from EcoFlow have a 22.6 conversion rate. The 220 watt panels are bifacial and have a conversion rate of 23%. They're $550, putting these at $2.50 per watt. The 160 watt panels are 21 conversion rate, cost $350, putting them at $2.18 per watt. The 110 watt panels are 22.8 conversion rate, cost $169, putting them at $1.53 per watt, very low price per watt. The 60 watt portable panels are 21% conversion rate for $139, putting them at $2.31 per watt. All of the portable panels are IP68 water resistant and dust resistant except for the 60 watt panels which are IP67 rating. The mountable panels from EcoFlow come in three sizes and all AP68 water resistant rating and 23% conversion rate. The 100 watt mountable panels are $200 putting them at $2 per watt. The 400 watt mountable panels are $1000 putting them at $2.50 per watt. And the flexible 100 watt panels are $159, placing them at an amazing price of $1.59 per watt. Another crazy hard to beat price. It's pretty clear to see that it's pretty hard to compete with some of the prices on the solar panels from EcoFlow. Next up, we're looking at the solar panels from Anchor, claiming 23% conversion rate and IP rating of 66 to 67 for water resistance and dust proof. They all have folding designs making them good portable solutions. There are four panel sizes. Going through the sizes quickly, the 200 watts are $550, putting them at $2.75 per watt. The 100 watt models are $330, putting them at $3.30 per watt. The 30 watt panels are $80, putting them at $2.63 per watt. The 400 watt panels are $1,000, putting them at $2.50 per watt. These prices of the panel aren't really spectacular, but Anchor does have a good reputation, so you can count on at least being able to get help if there's any issues. This is probably gonna be the most watched part of the video. This took me forever. I put all the panels and power stations into a spreadsheet so we can easily take a look and see how all these products rank up against each other for cost per wattage for the solar panels, cost per kilowatt hours for the power stations, and also, weight per kilowatt hour for the power stations. I feel like these three numbers people are wondering about most, you can easily see which products are the cheapest, most expensive, lightest, and you can apply this to your needs. Take a look at the power stations organized by cost per megawatt hour. You have a range here. Anchor seems to be right in the middle. EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, the cheapest, and Jackery seems to be the most expensive. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at the power stations organized by megawatt hour per pound and weight. The heavier devices that can't store as much power per pound of weight are the Blue Eddies and some of the Anchor devices. When you get down into the best, most efficient devices that can give you the most storage per weight, you're looking at Jackery and EcoFlow. Those are some of the most efficient devices giving you the lightest weight. So I would recommend those companies if you're looking for something really light and portable. If you're not too worried about portability and things like that, head right over to Blue Eddy. Now taking a look at the solar panels organized by cost per watt. EcoFlow is right there on top of Blue Eddy. They have some of the best deals, including $1.53 per watt. 
that's amazing. Then when you get on the more expensive end, you're looking at Anchor and Jackery. They seem to be the most expensive solar panels right now on the market, as far as these companies go. This data sheet took hours and hours to put together. I really hope it helps you guys out. Now on this channel, I'm always putting in hard work to save you time and money. I generally wanna help. I never use AI or anything like that to create my content, 100% hard work. So please do that, click on the thumbs up thing, leave a comment, and subscribe, and most importantly, click the bell icon to be able to see new videos when I post. I'm also a professional photographer and producer. The money made from the work that I do helps to fund my channels, keep food in my fridge. I've helped thousands of people by creating videos for their products over the last 10 years. If you're a brand or if you have questions, you can email me at reviewcentral.media at gmail.com. If you have a product review inquiry, sample product for testing, or want us to film a video for your team, with over 400 awards, including the YouTube Silver Award, I produce videos for TV channels like Home Shopping Network, QVC, made content for William Shatner and NASA. I film videos for Anchor and hundreds of other brands. And when you work with me, you work directly with the channels, so every penny you spend actually goes as a production budget. You don't pay any middleman. I have a wide range of pricing to accommodate pretty much anyone. We can even do some videos for free sometimes too, so please reach out, I'd love to help. See you in the next video, everyone. Leave a comment if you have questions or want us to make a video about a certain topic or product. I really hope this video about power stations and solar panels helped you out making your decisions.